U.S. soldier accused of murdering 16 Afghan villagers, but we do know who his lawyer is. And that lawyer is speaking out. Nicole Collins is live in Washington this morning with more on this developing case. The lawyer actually hired by uh, the defendant's family. Good morning, Nicole. Good morning, Kim and Ben. Yes, this is a very well-known attorney. He's represented Ted Bundy, the serial killer, and more recently, the barefoot bandit. And now this U.S. soldier accused of killing 16 Afghan civilians, nine of them children, this past Sunday in the early morning hours. And we won't get that man's name until charges are filed. Now, there are reports that that could happen as soon as today. Also, uh, several reports out there that perhaps this soldier could be transferred from Kuwait to Fort Leavenworth in Kansas sometime today as as well. Um, he, so we have to wait and see if he's charged uh, before we get his name. Now, as for what this attorney is saying, he actually spoke with the soldier yesterday briefly on the phone. He described that conversation and said that uh, the soldier seemed stunned and distant, but that attorney is saying he's getting most of his information from the family. He's met with no, a number of family members and says that uh, the family told him the day before this massacre that that soldier was standing next to a friend of his who then had his leg blown off right in front of him, and that also the family and this soldier were very upset about this deployment. It was his fourth deployment. He'd been to Iraq three times before. The attorney saying that the family and soldier were told that he would not be deployed anymore to the Middle East and that overnight that apparently changed and he was shipped out to Afghanistan for his fourth deployment. Now, uh, this attorney also shooting down uh, the report that perhaps marital problems led to this apparent uh, massacre and the uh, the indication of alcohol, this, this attorney says there is no indication on his part and that his family says there, that this man does not have a drinking problem. So uh, this attorney disputing those two claims at this time. Kim and Ben. All right, Nicole Collins, thank you very much for that update. He's making wearing glasses cool again.